Oh my gosh, is The Daily Wire coming out with a Snow White movie? This, I have to see it. I saw this pop up on my feed, and we're going to react to the trailer of it, but I have no idea what it is. Are so, you guys ready to see this? Yeah, it's going to be let's, wild. Let's watch it, right? Well, well, first, welcome back to the Wilson Brothers channel. <laughs> I'm David. This is Isaac. Good to see you and guys. And we are releasing videos Monday through Friday, so subscribe because you do not want to miss a thing. But let's get to this reaction because... Let's get it. How does The Daily Wire even have the rights to this? I have no idea. I'm excited. Once upon a time Who is this? I like the beginning. In time Ooh. a prince would come Once upon a time But now that time Brings me back to my childhood. <laughs> no! Yo! Brett Cooper? No, no way. Hold on, hold on. Come oh man, I got such a crush uh, okay. on Brett Cooper. Isaac, so oh. we're gonna we're gonna preface this with Isaac loves Brett Cooper <laughs> and now she is engaged, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so, so sad. So, I, I cried in my bed. So Brett Cooper, if you're watching this, Isaac cried. Yeah. So you, I know that there's a lot of millions of men that cried. Yeah. But Isaac is one of them. But this says Snow White and the Evil Queen coming bent key. I guess that's like the production company they have. No, that's their new children's program. So Daily Wire just released oh. an entire children's section. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. But it's coming in 2024, which the other Snow White movie is supposed to come in 2024 as well. She's so hot. Is she? Man, it's painful. It's her personality, man. She has confidence. It's, it's the full package. Man, if you're looking for a girl, you want the full package. If you don't like Brett Cooper, I don't know what to tell you, but... She's the fun. The way she brings comedic laughter, political analysts, even if you don't agree with her, like the way she reacts to videos is just, she's, she's a natural, natural queen. But are they actually making this or is this a spoof? I think they are. Are they actually making Well, it says in the, in the title here, it says coming to Bent Key in 2024. It didn't even say her name. So we didn't my know favorite who it was. Part, my favorite part of it is I that it said, freaking once wait. upon a time. Was that her singing? No, I, I don't know. But said, when a prince would come, it was like, when a prince would come. And it was like, I'm doing a super high voice because oh of her. Gosh. And so when a prince would come, because the previous version, which is coming out next year oh with Rachel Ziegler and Gal Gadot, they say that they don't need a prince to save them anymore because this is not 1937 anymore. So the dwarves aren't even so dwarves. People. I am, we're double dipping because all we do is double dip on this channel. So we're going to react at the same time. I know this might be blasphemous to you, Daily Wire people. The proverbial double dip. The double dip. But we're going to react to Rachel Ziegler and Gal Gadot on a new modern edge to Snow White. So let's check modern. this out. Modern. So, so uh, as they say in the Gen Z, Riz. Riz. Here we go. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937, and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be, and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. And so it's just a really incredible story for, I think, young people everywhere to see themselves in. Snow White is running for president. <laughs> I'm launching my campaign. Oh. I am. No. Just no. no. Like, no. why? Why would you not want to be saved by the prince? Like, why the hell? Why are we? Why are we reacting to this crap? I'm fascinated. This is my childhood. So I, I this want is people my to understand. Childhood. So people are saying this isn't 1937 anymore. So therefore, women should not want to watch the original. Is that what they're saying? Or vote. Well, she says she's running for office, and I'm not voting for you, Rachel Ziegler. Even in 50 years, whatever time this is, you said we don't need, or Snow White doesn't need a prince anymore. So what is she going to do? Eat the apple, and all of a sudden she's not going to fall into a sleep? Or she's going to, her brain is going to overpower the sedative of the apple. How does she, how does she even wake up when she eats the apple? Who's going to save her? That's a very good question that I cannot answer right now. 
I don't want to. I don't want to. So we've reacted to the first Daily Wire one, and then we're reacting to <sighs> Brett the, Cooper. Save this, us, Brett Cooper. Save us, please. For the love please of God, please save us. For the love of God, everything that's holy in this world. How in the? How can you? How in the? How in the? Seriously, how? like I don't even know what to say because that's so asinine. It, it pisses me off. The reason why, and we talk about helping men to be men more on this channel, that was my childhood. The, and they're the idea showing wonder. that men are no longer needed. Yeah. That's the problem I have is it's not about men and women both being needed in society now. It's not becoming an equality of value because we believe that men and women have the same value, but yes. we have different roles. So they're not preaching equality of value. They're saying that women don't need men yeah. anymore, but then m men are required to need women. There's not this balance. We need each other. Good luck having so kids. So this is what we're going to do. I'm speaking this forth for the first time on this channel. Oh, God. We are going to watch and record our reaction of the Daily Wire one as well as this actual Snow White movie that will be in theaters. And if we get to 100,000 subscribers, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to use my phone. And me, Isaac, and the Viking, who can't be with us today, are going. I'm, we're going to go see this, man, this movie together. Three massive guys <laughs> walking into Snow White together. And I'm going to film us three during the movie. And you guys are going to get to see... Our genuine, unfiltered, because it's going to be a very interesting situation. I don't even know what we're going to do. And then we'll watch the Daily Wire one again. Isaac will fawn over, you know, Brett Cooper. Oh, I can't wait. But she's engaged, bro. You know what? Are you broken inside? I am happy for her. Hopefully she has a cousin. A cousin? Uh, maybe. Whatever. So we... <laughs> Isaac's like, I'll have the, I mean, the, here's I'll the, have thing. the leftovers. The, the one side of the pendulum is the Brett Cooper one, right? Which is holding the traditional values of Prince Charming coming after her. Not, we're not saying that women can't work or go out there and make a living or, you know, per, you know, be that. They want to be wooed. They want they to be want loved. Romantic. They pursued, wooed. They want to be fawned over. Like, what do you want? There's women. A, there's a reason why men ask women on a date. There's a reason why men propose to women. There's a reason why all these things happen. It's not because, oh, we're pushing women down. No, we want to honor them. We want to love them. We want to take care of them. They can work if they want, but we want to have... We want to woo them. We want to make them fall in love with us. That's part of what it, being a man means. Yeah, it's wanna, for us to make women, a woman fall in love with us. I want to take them on a helicopter ride over the Swiss Alps with a wraparound terrace cabin with a hot tub with kombucha and a good silk robe. I love how you mentioned hot tub. Hot tub is my thing. If you guys don't know me well enough yet, I love hot tubs. I love saunas, steam rooms, anything to do with moisture. me being pampered. <laughs> with the moisture. Yeah. Guys masculinity is under attack if this isn't what's showing it then what is this is going I mean, into movies i mean it is what it is there's really not a, much else disney, to say disney is such a joke disney is a joke a i joke. grew up with disney i like the idea of wonder and and magical endings and a prince chasing her her princess and having that this the beautiful universe that you could like ex, like expound into and have all these ideas that's under attack. I just love how Isaac said that that Snow White was his childhood. I mean, I grew up in the uh, Snow White, Cinderella, uh, Tarzan. Okay, Isaac, who's the hottest princess? Hmm. <laughs> I got him now, bro. That's tough. Cinderella. Cinderella? Maybe I like the indigenous. I like more of the Pocahontas. I loved it when he put the foot on the the. I loved it when he put the slipper on her foot. It was a beautiful moment. All right, well, guys, we we appreciate you watching this video. You can watch other reaction videos right here, and don't forget to subscribe because we will be watching this video in theaters, and I'll be recording it with my phone of us reacting. So you don't want to miss a thing. Peace, peace. <laughs>